This is an interesting physics demonstration showing stationary waves in sound. Sound waves are produced by the loudspeaker on the left and then are reflected by the hardboard on the right. And when the two waves travelling in opposite directions interfere, it produces a stationary wave. The microphone connected to the oscilloscope easily allows us to pick out the nodes where the waves destructively interfere all the time and we get almost no signal and the antinodes where we get the largest amplitude signal. Here we've arrived at another node. I'm going to turn off the audio for the rest of the video so that you're not subjected to any more of the high-pitched squeak. I set the frequency on the signal generator to about 2250 hertz. Here, starting at a node at 37.5 centimeters, I then move the microphone through the next node and on to the subsequent node. And by the time it gets to that second node, it's on about 22 centimeters. The microphone has therefore moved 15 and a half centimeters and that will give us the wavelength of the sound wave. If I convert that into meters, giving me 0.155 of a meter, and multiply it by the frequency of the sound wave, which was 2250, that should give me the speed of sound, which in this case gives me about 350 meters per second, which is not too bad, as the accepted value is around 340 meters per second. If you want to set this up as a demonstration, you'll need to connect the output of your signal generator to the loudspeaker. You should also run a connection directly from the signal generator to the external trigger on the oscilloscope. And then the input for the oscilloscope is connected to the microphone. You'll need the volts per division on your oscilloscope set to be very sensitive and on this oscilloscope that I'm using, you can pull that out and get times five. The loudspeaker will be an antinode of the stationary wave, and I calculated by having my loudspeaker 50 centimetres away from the hardboard, if I set my frequency to about 2,250, then I would get three and a quarter wavelengths in between, and that should give me a nice stationary wave where I can find several nodes. It's easiest to set this up if you have your loudspeaker rather loud, which makes it easier to detect. So I recommend wearing ear defenders. And then once you've got the demonstration nicely set up, you can reduce the volume to a more reasonable level, which isn't going to damage anyone's hearing.